the fuck? Yo! What are you playing? I, I don't understand. What are you playing? I would have to assume it's Call of Duty. Nah, that's too kid. <laughs> <laughs> he knows of the struggle when he plays against me, dog. Okay. I don't have any struggle of that nature. That's cap. What you just made tell me about not making excuses just a while ago? You were just talking about not making excuses a while ago, weren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Shut up. 21 P. I've never Ray, never Ray, you were there that summer. That's to join my summer class when you Oh up. yeah. That man yeah. traveled all the way to the springs to take that out. Could have mailed it to him. <laughs> but he Nigga, came and took it in person. He nah, said, nah, I'm nah, a nah, I'm a man nah, of integrity. Nah, I will <laughs> That Ray, don't act like I, I booked a flight. Hey, hey, follow, follow my IG soul gaming underscore 21. You know what I'm saying? Boy, <clears> my man, <throat> we're making clips out here. My man was out, like, my man was out here listening to something. Vanessa Carlton a thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> Do, you, Do you play card? Mm, um, I play for no, okay, no, no, okay, I heard you. I, I got you. <laughs> That boy hesitated. I heard a hesitation, bro. Because he playing so 2K. That's why he hesitated. He playing 2K. Yeah, I had to hit you with that hezzy real quick. <laughs> oh, you got ripped in the process. You're right. Oh, and I, okay. Speaking of L's, though, I mean, at least none of us are part of Barcelona. Oh, I knew that was coming. 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 Eight? That was sick. Eight? I thought I thought it was Germany versus... Uh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> they doing these sessions. While gaming. Well, you terrible people have Xboxes, so. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay that's what I we're mean, doing. it's not my fault. Well, it is your fault. You should learn to love yourself. I got it for free. <laughs> that should tell you everything you need to know. No, not really. That boy Eddie not usual. coming oh through. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. But he probably sleep too. I ain't gonna care. Eddie has things to do, man. Yeah, and his uh, and his girl coming back to oh, campus. Like setting up his he, background. He, he he was the one that said that, I can no. do three. He was the one that said it. I said Ray, I that was days ago, and I and I forgot. Bruh. <laughs> Who is? You're annoying. You're so annoying. Wait, you didn't do that on purpose because your jersey number is three, and you just showed the back of your phone to the camera. No, no, I took my phone. Someone, someone hit me up on Instagram. That's not. Nah. That, that, was, that, was, that wasn't the point. That was. I was. I was doing that. <laughs> I was about to say because uh, I was. I'm I not that. Was, I am not that. Uh, what's the word? That clever. <laughs> No, I was like, that's whoa, mad quick. You whoa. said I can do three. Yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 hold on, pimp. And then you put up that's a three, clever. and I was like, like oh, that's what you did there. Where's the word when you're talking about, like, intentional? I'm not that intentional. There you go. Oh, you're not that intentional, huh? I'm not that intentional, no. All right, well, you know. That took me a while for that for that word to come out. Lord have mercy. Mm. Well, you ain't been listening enough Travis Green. That's a problem. He's you listen to more Travis Green. We'll hop into it. The first question uh -huh. is, what matters more? Team success, as in championships, or individual success, as in the Hall of Fame. 82% of people said team success matters more. I 100% agree. Like, if you look at a lot of the people in the NBA in the Hall of Fame right now, all right, a lot yeah. of people a lot of people are already downplaying them. If It's not solidified unless you get a ring. But if you look at the greatest players in the league, in any league, if you don't solid a lot of times, if you don't solidify it, solidify it with the ring, then you're you're boo boo. Like you have all these accomplishments, that's great, but you decide you start to fade into the the white noise. Did Chad Ochocinco win the championship? No, no, uh, no. He was the one of the best receivers to talk trash and back it up. One of the best. I mean, he was just one of the best receivers, period. But I mean, exactly for him, how like many people here to talk about. Him. He was just so controversial. Because part of the Hall of Fame is also like you know the politics of it. Honestly, the the the, the rings count, and that's why Shaq is able to rip on Barkley so much, even though they're both in the Hall. <laughs> why do you think he's left out of people's like great? Like you can forget how great Charles was because there's no ring until you win one. You can be in the Hall of the very very good. Good. Mellow, I'll go a Hall of Famer. Woo be left out of some conversations of course if he doesn't win a ring i feel like i would prefer to end up in the hall of fame as much as being in the hall of fame with a ring as validation would be nice you can't be in the hall of fame if you're not good so like, what you're saying is that you're selfish heard you I mean, like y'all see you see me the Patriots second team online probably three of those dudes got like three rings in the last, what, six years, even though we may not know who any of those dudes are. 
because mm-hmm. Patriots won three titles. I guess for basketball, Patrick McCall. Patrick McCall came on to the Warriors when they got back to back rings. And then oh, and then he went to what Toronto last year and then got another got ring. Ring. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fact like he has the championship rings, but it's not gonna be like, oh yeah, Patrick remember Patrick McCall on that team? But that with is, if you're a Hall of Famer, like it's just like you're straight from a Hall of Famer. Like Dan Marino didn't get a ring. Still considered a top five quarterback by most people, even though there are more than five other quarterbacks that have multiple rings, including Eli. But no one I don't think anyone's gonna be taking Dan Dan Marino after Eli Manning because I said maybe Neff because Neff's just that dude. But I mean oh for me it goes back to championships being circumstantial. Because I just feel like, you know, you know if if Kawhi doesn't roll his ankle against the Warriors, what happened? these final results are not usually as decisive as the process that led up to those final results. Knowing the type of person I am or the player I am as well, if I'm going to be a part of a championship team, like, I'm putting work in for some some of it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, you could be oh, James Jones Liddy. with LeBron. Oh, boy. Yeah, Ooh, wow. You can't. Oh, that's crazy. That the can't one man that, that said he can't, and he said he, he said. can't. Pop culture question. Are we over entertained? That hit ninety percent. Yes. I, I feel like there's there is a lot of things that that we have that, that to entertain us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of things or or objects or aspects or networks, platforms, different things that that entertain us as well. I personally, feel like the over entertainment part really comes to yourself personally okay. and how you how you interact with these you know what I'm saying how you interact with these things I think entertainment is a lot more deeper than what we think it to be than just to be entertained just to be distracted I think entertainment does wonders sometimes for the emotional mental health of people like you know everybody's like yo 2020 is trash and you see on the TL somebody be like yo like this is the best thing you'll see today and it's like like a little kid uh, you know, a little kid doing something with their dad or something wholesome. Like, here's some wholesome content for the TL. Um, or you see it on Instagram or whatever, what have you. I think entertainment can be used uh, for good for some people. Uh, but, but, you know, with anything, there's always an extreme on both sides. So, over entertain? No. Like, in the USA, we might be. But, I mean, you were in Ukraine. So, do you think that they're over entertained over there? compared to here? Nah. I think it's a pretty simple lifestyle there. Not that simplicity can't be entertaining, but you don't think about like glitz and glamour as much over there as you do here. College's main revenue is sports and the side hustle is the education. Higher schools is really gonna lose millions. And we and like we feel like you're raking in millions already. You know, like I go to the school and I gotta pay for a parking pass. Like, why? <laughs> I go and God forbid I park in the wrong section, I find a ticket on my car. You don't go somewhere with that. Like, man. That, that, that's Camp, that's campus that's safety gonna be at your name. Yeah, Neff, ne- ne- that sounded kind of personal. I'm not gonna lie. That's that all uh, campus safety is, man. No cash. I just flown back in and I left my keys in Florida. I was like, yo, my roommate. Wasn't back yet. I went to I went to the apartment like RA, I guess, or whatever, knocking on buddy's door, calling them, no answer. So finally I was like, Evan, you know, let me call campus safety. Uh-oh. Buddy comes to open the door, and he started to put the key in and he stopped. He's like, you know, this this is gonna be like five dollars, right? I was like, well, if you don't turn them keys, like you already hit if I said no, are you really gonna turn around and leave me? Like, Stranded. Yeah. Don't leave yeah. me. <laughs> don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> What's oh, up, Eddie? That boy oh, was Eddie. resting. You wash your hands? <laughs> Did you wash your hands before joining this call? Your mask on. Look at the way Buddy's sitting back like, yeah. <laughs> no, he's a veteran. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. I forgot, and I, I went to go use the bathroom real quick. And I was like checking my phone, see if my girlfriend texted me, and all I saw in the chat was Neff saying, "Like, are we about to go on?" I'm like, "Oh, bro." bro. He, was waiting, he was waiting to see if his girlfriend texted, saw it was us, and was immediately disappointed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, Neff second place gets a medal too. 
Cream is like, I'm getting on right now. I'm like, and I whoop. Whole time, Eddie, whole time, I'm with you. I went to hoop early this morning, like 8 o'clock or so this morning. Then I went, I came back, knocked out completely. Literally woke up 30 minutes before um, I got a text. I'm about to, like, hop on college. I'm like, yeah, let's get some couple games and we got. I see a text from Neff. Yo, we still on? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love me forgetting sometimes. I key. When did when did you send the text, Ray? Like Thursday? Uh or Friday? I think it was Friday. Yeah, oh no, it was Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday I uh, asked. Yeah. And then on Friday I sent the questions. No, okay. Alright, well we we here. So uh oh we oh we're still all entertainment. So for me, um I I feel like I guess yeah, we could say in America. I think we are overtain, over entertain. Um, I think there's just a lot of like, oh, you know, like we need to keep their attention. We need to keep their attention. We need to keep their attention. Which I mean, I guess you should with anything that you're presenting. But it seems like things are more focused on like, oh, how much are people going to enjoy this? more than sometimes I think just the substance of whatever it is like not that Snapchat is necessarily a news outlet but you look through like the news section of Snapchat and half of it's not even like views it's just like some people that they're following and putting some information about and it's like oh look at this news like these like Instagram celebrities or just these random models and it's like oh she was spotted in Ibiza this week and I'm like that's not news that's just someone's personal life like <laughs> when we actually do right. events in my community so Kanye brushed his teeth today it's like yo what yo why it's, it's, why it's crazy man Kanye like or everything has like you know an entertainment focus when I think some things should just be like you know what's the content of what we're doing um and then you know some I think in some case if the content is good and I guess mm -hmm. it's presented well, you don't even necessarily have to like make it entertaining. It'll just be like, hey, this is good stuff. So that's my take on that. I don't know, Eddie, you got the last bite because you came <laughs> in the middle. If you got something to say about it, but he's still rubbing his eyes, bro. That sleep is still there. What was the <laughs> I was muted, so. Are we over entertained? I feel like, yeah, because even I'm a victim to this. Even though I'm aware that so many things are trying to grab my attention, I still fall into it. So even when I'm bored, or even when I'm not bored, I'm still finding myself on my phone, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Like, I feel like I need to constantly be entertained. And it's not until when I'm like about to go to sleep and I put my phone away, I hear my actual thoughts and I start talking to God. Or like on a given weekend, movies like three four movies will drop and people go watch all of it and i'm like i mean people pay for we movies have it's crazy okay let's, <laughs> hey hey we are being recorded here let's follow the law you're going to jail you're, you're going, going to jail, jail. <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> no. oh. i mean i mean when it came out in blu-ray come on now oh, oh, oh. When it comes Actually, blu-ray ah, ah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. okay when they were uh, like players were saying if they're gonna go to the bubble or not. They're like, yeah, Evan Turner is not going to the bubble because he just got custody of his two-year-old daughter and wants to spend time with her. Like, why do we need to know that? Just say, buddy, not. Hey, like, hey, hey. No, let woes work. Let woes work, no, man. Nah, listen, let him get his much. bread, bro. That's too much. Most videos like get the catch about like stuff like that come from Twitter because generally don't get that from at least major american outlets um maybe from like Reuters, like they're the biggest international news company but um but let's not go too far into that because we have a question about news later are guys supposed to chase girls romantically this actually split down the middle 51 percent uh, yes 49 percent no we should have, yeah. That's that's all you know. <laughs> yes, and and Eddie, we'll, we'll, we'll Eddie. let our faithful Haitian man handle this. Right, loyal, faithful, loyal Haitian man. You know what I'm saying? This is my take. This is my take. 
All right, go ahead. This is my take. I believe the word itself and the act of chasing a woman, you should not do. Mm. You can pursue a woman, but you should not chase the woman. Because if you're chasing her, it then becomes lust. Like, you know how we in high school, we want to get this girl, we want to date this girl. And if you get to date her, or maybe if you don't, it fades away anyways. But when you like someone, like, actually like them, like, you pursue her. She's willing to like actually talk and like not like drag things along, knowing that she actually still likes you back. Everything just goes smoothly. Everything goes good. Everything goes calm and collected. When you're chasing someone, it becomes like a, a something unhealthy. Like, thing. no girl mm. really likes a guy who chases. Them. Like, it's for their ego. Woo! Wait, 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 wait! Repeat that last part. Repeat that last part. Repeat that last part. I don't think I heard that it's properly. As the oh, that guy likes you. He he was talking to me last week. Meanwhile, he only said, "Hey." And they telling their friend like, oh, you know he said he's talking to me, right? Like he was trying to get to he was trying to hey, get to know you, hey. but said you going to be Hollywood. Now he's talking to someone else, and that person's interested in him. So that's why that girl might be his girlfriend now, not you. Mm. Let me out though. Right. To quickly so input so on Eddie's distinction between chase and pursuit, this is just a comment I saw online, but it said pursuing is less crazy more deliberate and serious chasing mm. a physical act pursuing like can be physical or metaphorical here's the kicker usually something that is being chased does not want to be caught mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. everybody wants me i look good but then it messes her up in the end because she can genuinely like someone but because she has like 5 10 15 20 guys chasing her She's got to back up. And then you, she probably missed out because she actually did like that person, but she was so on this, like, oh, look at me. I'm this, I'm that. I got 300 likes. I got little. Like, okay, but if you like the person, talk to them. Like, why are you so, like, so extra? I've had a lot of conversations with um, a lot of my, uh, my women friends. A lot of them, yes, a lot of them would love, rather have the guy to pursue. Because if a girl pursues and it goes down the drain, they're mentally they're like done some of my friends i've talked to they're like yeah dealing with rejection for rejection for them is like it's so heavy so how how is the guy supposed to feel it's supposed to be like ah shrug it off the shoulder <laughs> next one i right, ayo shut hey for the things that you like and the people that you like you're gonna go after them right and i feel that should be presentable from both ways girls make sure the guy likes you more than you uh, do i don't know what that's about that doesn't really make sense to me personally i've I've heard that before, and I've always questioned. I was like, go ahead. No, here's, the, here's the thought behind it, because I heard that too, and it, it, it makes sense. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. This way, I'm not saying all women like this or all girls are like this. It doesn't matter how much each person loves each other. There's no equal balance. That's just unrealistic. One is going to maybe right. slightly let, love the one a little bit more. In the girl situation, she loves them more. Oh, it's not fair. How come she has to love them way, 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 way more? No, that's just not the case. Maybe just maybe it could be that much, or maybe it could just be slightly more. There is no such thing as an equal balance. Mm -hmm. In the guy's perspective, you can still show your woman each and every day, your wife or girlfriend, you love her to the extreme, whatever, like treating her nice, whatever. Right. But when you, um, if you quote unquote love her more, she, I wouldn't say she tends to resent you, but she's like, it's not going to be how the same as it was before. Because it, it's more so like, oh, this is my guy that said he's going to be here. And she's like, oh, he's in my pocket type of thing because he loves me. But when it's vice versa, I feel like if the girl is like a little bit more, she's always willing or trying to like please her husband or be there for her husband or be the support system for her husband and then return when the guy sees that from his wife, he, he keeps on loving her, keeps protecting her, mm -hmm. keeps showing up and all these things. It's the same thing. It doesn't go the same way. A guy can do that in 10 times fold and the woman will still just be like, eh. Because she knows in a sense, he's, I got him in my pocket. He loves me more than I love him. I, I, it's okay. Like I understand why they say that because a lot of women are more emotionally invested than guys are. All right, like they, if their if their mind is set on something, they're most likely to be, I guess, what's to like put all their eggs in that basket. Yeah. When the guy is just like Ugh, one egg, two egg, three egg, you know what I'm saying? There, it comes to the point where the guy might be the guy shows the interest, like the guy. 
puts in like more more the interest and all that stuff, and then the guy ends up getting hurt as well. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and you've heard you've heard some some women like, oh, he does too much sometimes. I'm just like, huh? Too much. <laughs> like, they, they wait, he does too like, much. He's too- it's sometimes they say he's too perfect. Too good. For me. He's too good for me. Oh my gosh, yo! It's... And they use that as a reason to quote unquote step out sometimes. Like, oh, oh I yeah. cheated on me because I just wanted the thrill from a, a different guy because my husband's too good to me. Yeah, what? <laughs> Speaking different languages. <laughs> you pretty much say I don't deserve that level of, of respect. Love. Uh, hey. Hey. So basically, yeah. what you're saying you're a trash human being compared, like, compared to that. Like, That's what I'm saying. What you're saying you right? calling your own self trash, then? If yeah. you can I'm so lost. You tell me you don't deserve that kind of love or affection type thing, bro? <laughs> what do you think of Buddy? Nah, man, I'm, I'm scum. I don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I don't want he treat women right. I don't but want to be real, right. I feel like that is a side effect of like I mean, you know, I think bullying has been a part of society for a while and that's probably caused some problems. But I mean, the media doesn't really help because you get I mean, these um idolized and um I mean photoshopped and edited celebrities that give off these images and ideals and then people end up with these ideas in their head as far as comparison and stuff. It's just like, oh, well, I don't look like this person or I can't give you like what this person could. So like, am I really like worth being valued or things like that when it comes to an actual relationship? I mean, those are lies that people get fed from all kinds of sources. If I'm taking the question at face value, should men chase women? I mean, absolutely not. Like again, I think there's a difference between chasing and pursuing someone, um, clearly stating your intentions. Um, you know, I, I, I told I told my boys, uh, you know, my guys here at the dorm, you know, some of them are, you know, out here trying to pursue some of these young ladies. And I was telling one of them on Friday night, I was like, listen, if you can be straight and direct, most of the time, you the, the women, like, you'll save yourself some heartache because even sometimes that girl will weed or something you know, you chase it, you come in all these slide things, these pickup lines, whatever. She might entertain yeah. it. She might entertain it, but she's keeping you at arm's length. She's stiff arming you, but you still trying to get the tackle. Mm. So it's just like, like I told her, mm. like, and, I, and at some point, if we're all. I gotta use that. I gotta use that. All, <laughs> if we're all chasing, what, what, what makes me stand out? You gotta, you gotta be better than the next man, and I'm, I'm and I'm talking about how you pursue these ladies. This is one girl here. There's a few guys trying to get after it. I told one of them, I was like, "Yo, my man, be confident, be direct. What mm-hmm. if, if at the end of the day you take the L, dust yourself off, and keep it going? Don't, don't feel scorned because you didn't get her. And I think when you're pursuing somebody, there's a little bit less of that hurt. Chasing with that mindset when you don't get her. It sounds like, you know, when the guy's like, hey, yo, ma, and she don't turn around, well, you're ugly anyways. Like, <laughs> it was super cool. But yeah, I think what I said was correct. I think pursuing uh, comes, comes, you know, comes with a different mindset and attitude uh, than chasing. And, and it's a comment on, like, loving more. And, and I agree with that, that it's not always going to be equal. But, but also, I, I personally, to a certain extent, I'm going to have to love my wife more than she loves me in order for it to make it work. Because think about it, I'm, I'm going to be the head of the household, technically. Not to, and, and you know, Christ is like, yo, like, love your wife as Christ loves the church. And Christ loves us way more than we love him. So if I, if I look at it like that, maybe I'm taking that out of context, but from how I see it, I have to love my wife more than she loves me. I don't think it's a race to love yeah, yeah. somebody than the other. But love can be shown in different ways. Like my like like with my girl, she, you know, it's like how I'm gonna show her love is providing her. Like me, I don't like I don't like the needless talking. Although I, some people just like I just want to be heard. And she's like, babe, I got a problem. Listen, I'm not here to help you feel right or whatever. I'm here to help you neutralize this issue and problem. Because guess what? If it bothers you, if it, it it's bothers gonna, me. If it's affecting. <laughs> I need to get rid of it immediately. I don't entertain problems. I, I don't want to get used to pain or annoyance or anything that, that takes away from my peace. She's mm. like, sometimes I just want to vent. 
I just want to vent and, and, and just get, you know, just get my frustration out. Like, listen, I'm not, uh, you better get a journal or something. Because listen, if you come to me with a problem, I'm coming with solutions, okay? <laughs> like, Purge straight from the past. All right, <laughs> moving right along to culture. Can money buy happiness? Yeah, the 62% no here. I've never seen somebody cry on a yacht. Never. <laughs> never. Never. Show <laughs> Google it right now. I want to see it. Hear me out. 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 You said, can money buy happiness? Money Indeed. is temporary. Happiness is temporary. This is temporary. Now, Except through Jesus Christ. Can Except through Jesus Christ. Except through Jesus Christ, my brother. Can money contentment? Now you're right. Happiness, happiness, and joy? Okay. Money can't buy joy. Money could buy temporary happiness. They could definitely buy happiness. I'll say joy cannot. Only God can give you everlasting joy. You just wake up, you have bare minimum, and you just content and happy. I agree with enough. Like, money definitely can buy happiness. I guess can't you guys buy think people around. probably answered thinking about joy instead of happiness. I, keep I believe so. That'd still be 40% yeah. of people almost saying yes, though. Before COVID, <clears throat> I was praying. I, was, I, had, I had plans. To travel one because I had a car that was a little bit more gas efficient. One for one, thank you. Amen. Um, I I I was dead about to drive drive like the whole southeast. Like I'm talking about, I was going to Florida, except except Alabama. Uh, don't trust that. Um, God is number one. Money is funds is gonna have to come up sooner or later. Money definitely does give you happy, get you to happiness. Does it give you joy? No, it only comes from the Lord, one and only. Jesus Christ. Why do people do drugs? Now, I don't partake, but it's like, why do people do drugs? Because for yeah. a moment, for yeah. a moment, you are happy. For a moment, I do think money can buy you happiness, but it's just like, what is the cost? What is the cost of it? How high are you that, like, when you fall, like, like what's the damage going to be? And I got 99 problems. Money solves 98 of them. <laughs> yes, sir. The only problem it doesn't solve is a closer relationship with the Lord. That's mm. it. Well, <laughs> our faith question number five: Is it worth it to believe in God or any higher power? We got ninety-one percent. Yes. I do want to talk. I would want to talk to the nine percent. We had a kid last year. He's from China. He's not SDA. Mm. So I always wondered what did the vespers, the mandatory church services the Bible class, like, what does that look like to you? For 16 years, he's lived his life, his life, God free. I didn't think about what my life wouldn't be like if I was an SDA. Oh, the stuff I could have been able to do on Saturdays and Friday night. NFL, nights. here I come. <laughs> you, you know, I was NFL, but I was maybe Juco, D3 was in the sights. Well, you better have faith. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I was taking um, youth discipleship class <clears throat> over the summer semester, like online, right? And it was basically talking about like how kids growing up, even when they do something bad, it doesn't click in their head that they're doing something bad because they can't really understand or fathom that thought of like, oh, I did something wrong or is this quote unquote socially good or correct? Maybe the question could be posed like, how do they feel now that they're attending these classes at an older age? But to ask them how they felt growing up the whole time, I don't think they could necessarily comprehend i think about that you know growing up advents is the fact that we have like pathfinders um bible bowl oshkosh things like that that are experiences that i can really only share with other adventists i can explain oshkosh and bible bowl to my friends and stuff like they haven't been to oshkosh they don't know what it's like having fifty thousand people on a random airfield in central wisconsin <laughs> for a week with a bunch of porta potties and portable shops. Even though hypotheticals are cool to think about, it's some that might actually not be as influential because you only really know what you know. The things that you don't know, it's hard to factor those things in, honestly. All right, well, let's, let's answer the question, though. I think right. the idea of God, I think it's a grounding thought, like outside of like the reward of heaven, which is an easy route to go. Yeah. Um, I think the idea of Should God be in control is a grounding thought you can be at the i guess at the mercy so to speak of a loving being that cares about you now of course your definition of god also affects what this um world view ends up looking like compared to the universe who i mean people like to talk about the universe as this impersonal force but the universe can kind of just 
do whatever and allow whatever it feels like honestly really not controlled at all compared to like god which is like this is a being with a thought process with specific ideals and standards that can keep things going along a certain path that you can you know count on to both extremes it would be better to live a good life that i mean scientifically speaking is better for you like being part of a faith community is a contributor to living well um eating plant-based is a contributor to eating living well um having the you know the community that you have at a church is good for like your social and emotional mental health like there's so many things that are part of like belief in god that are good for you um so even if there was no heaven you would still have a pretty good time living here compared to deciding to just skip on God altogether. And there actually is a judgment and a final destination for everyone. They had a kid. Okay. No, cancer, cancer, cancer. Oh, cancer. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Okay. I didn't hear that all. They, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed, like pleaded with God, and she died. What do you say? You hear someone say that's God's will. Is, is, they're not going to accept that at all. You know, like a lot of people are not really going to even accept that. that. I mean, that's a common argument. It's just like, you know, with clear things like life and death, it's easy to say like, oh, how can God allow bad things to happen? Um, no. But there's a lot of things that, you know, if you want to think about what's good and what's bad and what should be allowed, what shouldn't be allowed that are arbitrary. Like, should God allow a poor person that's about to starve to death to steal from a store if they need food depending on which side you're looking from god should or shouldn't allow it to happen yes god can heal that person and yes god cannot there you know he's mightier than us <clears throat> but we must not forget that because of sin and because we are in a sinful world sinful things can happen to us and i think we mm -hmm. tend to forget that or he has to do it or if he doesn't do it i'm gonna stop serving him but you forgot that once you even accepted Christ, you're not even living life for yourself anymore. You're living, uh, for him. you're living on his agenda. So anything after you've been baptized is technically not even for you. Of course, it's going to bless you, but you're living uh, on his agenda. He said, go spread my word so that more people could be in my kingdom so that when I come back, I can swoop you guys up and bring you guys back to heaven. Sometimes we tend to forget that. We keep saying, me, me, me. What about what does God want for your life? What is God's will in your life? I don't really know or really, really think of how to really like live that way, especially because one, I've been raised seven day Adventists, and you already know my mom raised. Right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> you not you really not seeing any other way to be honest. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> this they, they, it's 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 God or or nothing at all. At this point in time, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I've, I've talked to uh, I've talked I talked to Zeke. Like you, Zeke said, there was a point in time he was atheist. Oh, um, he didn't believe. I think I heard that from him too. Yeah, mm -hmm. Zeke said there was a time he he didn't believe in anything. He's just like, and and the thing is, he the thing is, he didn't believe in anything. It was in in spite. You know what I'm saying? It was in spite of. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He he put himself in a situation where he didn't he didn't believe in God type, and I was like, how is that how's that even possible when you when you you know you kind of grew up in that yeah that setting everything he said like everything that everything he went through had a had a reason for had a natural cause or natural yeah. reason for I I was sub in a Bible class yeah and she was like hey I think it's like what's that word called for people who like who believe in a higher power, but don't believe in God. I was like, hey, like agnostic? She's like, yeah, I think I might be that. I didn't find out until later, before she came here during the summer, her like best friend committed suicide. Oh. And, 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 and when I was talking to her, I was just like, why do you think you're agnostic? She's like, you know, me and God just kind of fell off. So but I was like, there's, there's a couple of reasons for that. Either, either you, you prayed to God for something to happen and it didn't, and you feel disappointed or something traumatic or something happened to you and you didn't feel like you didn't feel like god should let that happen and she was just like yeah and then when she finally left the school someone's like yeah during the summer one of her best friends committed suicide and and, and it's just like i feel like the question is it worth it 
it's coming like that's a question of like disappointment that's coming from like a place of disappointment of like anger you know misunderstanding and to what eddie said is just like yo you know like to a certain point it's just like sin plays a role into this world it's like yeah but i heard one person saying like this like, like you know he was just like, bro if if sin was supposed to finish me off then why didn't you just let it do that what was the point of dying for us and like kind of promising us eternal life and kind of like promising us that you'll be there like eddie said you know, he says yeah. call upon my name and he'll give you whatever what's the point of that if it doesn't always work the hardest part of being a christian is believing in a god that can do everything but can let anything happen for, mm. some, and so, for some people and i understand why for some people it's not worth it is it worth it case by case only the spirit can convince you it's worth it i mean yeah I, no and that's why i put it like that because you can't you can't really t you couldn't really ask that question from our side um because from our side to be like, oh, I guess should you or something. So it's it's a value judgment. But I mean, I think that is a very relevant um, version of the question, given that this time that we're in. Um, because I can't think of a time in maybe since like 9-11, at least in America, um, I, don't, I don't know when on a global scale, this many people have probably thought about what the value of believing in God is or what the value of faith is because so much is in upheaval. What I like about asking questions to my Instagram population um, is that, you know, I grow, I grew up going to public school. I've come across pretty much everyone in, on every spectrum that you can think of. I mean, there is even some Adventist kids that said, answer no to this question should we trust major news outlets this one got an 89 percent no hell no <laughs> no 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 uh, honestly honestly I can watch no. twitter i feel like twitter is more reliable than, than fact like there's the speed of official reporting which i understand the journalistic and the integrity value of it but that the value is more in written reports integrity value with presentation of any pictures or videos especially videos is show the whole video as much as you can you should show just the whole story of what happened like the beirut explosion that explosion hit social media instantly and probably took like 15 minutes for like a curated version to make it to cnn or bbc or those companies like that i think they should be corroborated that's what I'll go with. News stations need a woes, man. man Eddie forgot. hit the bathroom? He might have. He Yo, probably sleep. No cap. <laughs> he knocked out. Wait, Woj forgot he was a celebrity, dog, when he, <laughs> he said that. <laughs> That's was, that was wild. Was not expected. That's when I realized Woj, Woj is a real one. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't forget about my girl, Doris, though. Oh. Doris Burke. <laughs> she <laughs> said, <laughs> you said, I like to be right. Ask my husband. That's my ex-husband. The last question, the fun question, was actually the third most divided answer spread of the seven questions I put on Instagram. So I have people come at me in my direct messages saying, oh, yeah, I don't know why you asked this question. It's a dumb question. Is sake cereal acceptable? It slaps. Go crazy, boy. Not for every cereal. Not for every cereal. Not for every cereal. It depends on which cereal. Uh, all right. So, so what cereals are a yes? Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes are one. Kellogg's. Cereal, whatever cereal, when you first bite into it, can scrape the roof of your mouth, you Captain better crunch. let it sit. Okay. You gotta let, you gotta let, let it, it sit. Eddie, Eddie's <laughs> like, bro, if you, if you, if when you go to the dentist, Eddie, open your mouth, if you don't be like, God damn, like <laughs> If you in pain every time you take a bite, yo, let it sit. Let it sit. <laughs> Look, man, I see that, that's what. So I had a strong gag reflex as a kid. So I developed this as like self defense because I used to eat frosted flakes, and then frosted flakes, there'd always be like that extra hard piece, that random hard piece in frosted flakes or in corn flakes that I always hated. So to 
mitigate that. I began to let it sit over time, but I got grilled fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. over time. Let us, okay, there's a threshold now. There's, there's a, a oh threshold. My gosh. But, all right, all right. It gets to a point so soggy that you dip your spoon in there and the, the, the cereal is deteriorating. You can't be doing that. Like, it needs to sit for like, let's say a minute maybe, the most. 30 seconds to a minute. 30, 30 seconds uh-huh. to a minute? Uh, with your side, what you got? Seconds. It gets like a little damp, I would say, a little damp. Um, well, what's your time limit looking like? I ain't going to lie to you. There's, there were times where I was just like, I had – I had poured. First of all, I don't understand y'all people that be pouring the milk and then the cereal. That hey, no, hey, hey! That, that question is for no, another video. No, I'm that sorry. I'm sorry. Video. I'm sorry. But that's how people. That's how people would be like, yo, man, you gotta keep your cereal crunchy, man. It's like, no, 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 no. But um, time limit wise, I mean, I don't know. This, I'm gonna I'm say, have you ever forgotten well. your cereal? Like you I definitely it. forgot my cereal. I poured yeah, it. I forgot my cereal I before. Definitely too. Poured I let it sit, and, and I'm just I like, upstairs. "Oh, Steph, I made cereal." I went upstairs to go do some, do handle some business, and then I came back. I was like, "I remember pouring cereal, didn't I?" I come back. It's so, it's soggy, but it's to the point where I like. It. I'm just like, "Oh yeah, yeah." I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna mash this real quick. I, but not gonna lie to you, just, cinnamon toast crunch too, just a little bit soggy. So the so that the milk could take the take the cinnamon and sugar off of it just, just a, a little, little bit. bit. Thirty seconds the most. Man, I said that cinnamon seconds. sugar. This man, Eddie that cinnamon out sugar and milk go crazy, bro. Cinnamon toast crunch don't touch you as much though. Captain Crunch be rocking the top of your mouth, bro. You literally start bleeding. You like I don't want to eat this no more, man. I've never heard such traumatic cereal experience. <laughs> bro, they literally cutting a roof for your mouth. They be so sharp and hard, bro. Yo, you. this room is filthy. <laughs> Speaking, <laughs> right to the bathroom check. Oh, oh. Andre, <laughs> I, I hate to fail you on a Monday. <laughs> hey, what? Today, Sunday though. No, he means he's gonna check. But tomorrow, room, tomorrow's room check. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lockridge. What's up, honey? Where's your map, please? Huh? This man is wrong for people me. live for YouTube. Simmon um, <laughs> Toast Crunch can sit for a little bit, Josiah said. Nah, nah, you don't want that soggy. Who said that? Cinnamon yeah. Toast Crunch? No, nah, bro. Who said that? Listen, listen. Sorry, you gotta let it. No. You gotta let it sit a little bit so the milk, the sh- milk, can combine. With the cinnamon and the sugar, and then you, lit- you gotta let it sit a little. Bit. No, bro, no, bro. It's bro. literally called cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Do you eat? Why? Do you, you eat like that no cheese? Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. PB and J. Oh my like gosh. Oh, I definitely have. Oh lord. <laughs> Then you didn't eat a PB and J, did you? I applaud y'all. Where's your mask, Will? Where, where your mask, Where's your mask? Where's your mask? Where your mask, all right? Don't worry about me. I get paid to be here. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't pay the electric bill? They ain't pay the Wi Fi bill? <laughs> You can't do that. You can't call both when they can't reply back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh, we got two nefs. We got two nefs. Whoa, what that's the crazy. Oh. I'm, I'm magic trick this is. Get me, really. You not catching me in this game. I want a challenge. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did he just oh, give it? Oh, Lord. Uh, Jetty Osman will come in. LeBron James congratulating some of the Warriors, and we'll get a standing ovation. No, no. Oh, you know, let, let's let's cut this off before the fans come, because, you know. Was that, fans, that, that early morning run worth it, Joe? Was it worth it? Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was on the ground on that one. I would stay on the ground. Totally like, yep. as, me would have been as weak as Neff's Wi-Fi. what you yeah. said. It's not like my stick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, y'all. I'm, I'll, I'll catch y'all. I'm about to go eat some food. Mm, shoot, I need to eat too. No <laughs> cap. I would right. think y'all would, but I need, it needs my undivided attention. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'll catch y'all, y'all boys. All right, y'all boys. That was a good hour and a half. Y'all be easy. I'll let y'all know. Yeah.